Well, this, I don't know, this feels like one of the stranger things I've seen, or probably the strangest thing I've seen since being here. I'm in Nuremberg, and um, I'm at the Nazi rally grounds that was the, the site of the biggest uh, Nazi party rallies that they would have prior leading up to World War II. And they would put like 150,000 people in this in this area. And now it's just a weird, um, <laughs> just kind of a weird mess of all sorts of strange things. And I'll just go over here. Um, you can be able to see behind me where the people would sit. Um, it's now, see that back there, it's now just completely overrun with grass. And, um, can't really get through there. There's a gate behind me, but um, everything about this is just really surreal. Like, Part of it's been turned into a, like a football field over here, like a football and soccer field, I'm guessing. And so now if I go back here, you can see over my shoulder um, what remains of where Hitler would stand to give his speeches. It used to be much bigger. They've torn down a bunch of it, apparently. Um, but it's just weird. There's people roller skating around here, and um, I went up into the up into the stands, up by kind of where Hitler would do his big speeches. And there's just like garbage everywhere, broken bottles, young people are drinking, and it's just weird. And like, I don't know exactly why, like what the point is. You know, it's just kind of a big mess of ugliness. And maybe that's the point, I guess. Maybe they're just trying to keep it as a memory, but they're not, Keeping it, I don't know, well maintained or anything, you know, on purpose, I guess. But anyway, I'll circle back here again. So, again, that's back here is where Hitler would give his speeches, and then they would have soldiers, and apparently they had like 150,000 people. They would do these, and they'd be like these week long rallies that would be held in Nuremberg. Um, and it would be these just amazing, like, I don't know, amazing things for the Nazis. And they would have hundreds of thousands of people come and invade the city and, and just take over and come to these big rallies. But um, anyway, it's very strange. It's very surreal. I don't know if on a normal summer day or spring day if this would be filled with lots of tourists. And if it feels really empty because there's no international tourists here. Um, but it really feels strange. I'm going to walk over here too. Um, just to show you one other thing that's happening. We have the Polizei is coming through. I've been watching them. They're kind of sweeping the area. Because like I said, and you can see them coming from back there. Like I said, there, this is kind of a place where it seems like teenagers are just kind of hanging out, drinking, and... And I think they're they're basically just kind of sweeping for social distancing, quarantine stuff um, because of coronavirus. But it's all very strange. And so right in front of where Hitler would give his speeches, now it's like a we can see that back there. It's like a roller skating course that somebody set up. Um, anyway, very strange. One of the kind of, I don't know, like I said, it's very surreal. I don't really understand how Nuremberg'ers feel about this, or Germans feel about this. Are they happy this is all still here? Do they just wish it would be torn down? Um, converted into something better? Um, anyway, it's very strange, um, but quite a, quite a sight to see.